Hello, hello, happy Saturday morning. I am coming to you live from my house in rainy Canada. Um, so this morning we're gonna be continuing the talk about hormones. And if you're not already aware, I actually have a special on this month where I'm giving anyone who joins the Holistic Anxiety Fix, which is my uh, now 16 week program, uh, which will look at root causes of your anxiety. I'm giving a Dutch test for the month of May only. So I'm focusing this month a lot around hormones. So there are a lot of root causes of anxiety. Hormones is only one of them. And hormones isn't even necessarily a root cause because when hormones are off, we have symptoms of anxiety, but there are deeper reasons why hormones become imbalanced, which is a topic for a whole other video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about one particular hormone. Now, when this hormone is low, it actually creates a lot of anxiety for a lot of women. So I'm going to list what you might be feeling. So if you have heavy periods or if you spot between your cycles, if you have a sex drive that, you know, is really not that great, if you find that you have a lot of sugar cravings, PMS, irritability, maybe you have thyroid issues, and of course you have anxiety, um, then this hormone could actually be low. Now, obviously these symptoms cross over with a lot of other different potential root causes, but it's important to really have on your radar this hormone because it actually interacts with your GABA receptors. And for those that don't know, GABA can can be very calming. It's an inhibitory neurotransmitter. So it sort of slows the system down and it puts on the brakes. And if you have low progesterone, you're not really able to stimulate the GABA receptors in the same way. So the brakes don't go on. So you end up quite anxious because of that. Okay. So this hormone is actually progesterone. And, um, if the progesterone hormone is low, which is common in a lot of women, then there is an issue. Now, what's interesting is even if you're on the birth control, you technically aren't taking progesterone. You have access to progestins and these are seen as different by the body. Now, there are a lot of reasons why you might have low progesterone, but before we go into the reasons, I want to know if you can relate. So like this video, if you have any of these symptoms, I'm going to go over the symptoms again. So, um, heavy periods, spotting between cycling, nasty PMS, thyroid issues, sugar cravings, and then obviously anxiety. So everyone here would like the video for that. So just like the video, let me know if you can relate. Now, there are lots of reasons why progesterone might be low. And as I was saying earlier, it's really important to think about the whys. And so progesterone could be low because of chronic stress. It could be low because you actually don't have enough building blocks, which is fats in your diet. It could be low because of nutritional deficiencies. So either you're not eating a great diet or your body can absorb that. And it also can be low if you have gluten issues. So I'm actually giving away a list of foods that you can take to boost progesterone. And so if this is something that you're interested in, then what I'd like you to do is put foods below and I will send you foods that you can consciously incorporate into your diet that will boost progesterone for you. Now, if you're interested in this month's special, then you can head on over and personally message me and we can chat more about whether the program's a good fit for you. Just a reminder, it is a free Dutch test with everyone who joins the program this month. All right. Talk to you later.